The life of following Jesus is a, is a journey. It's a journey often like the one I'm on right here that the path narrows and the towering trees are dark and foreboding. And right in front of me here is a log across the path. And yet on our journeys, we have these precious promises from God that all things work together for good. I got to crawl over this log. <laughs> all things work together for good to those who love him. And Jeremiah 29, that the plans he has for us are to give us a future and a hope. And with those great promises in mind, I want to read you a brief message from Heather Johnson. It's been an absolute joy to worship with you and lead our congregation in music ministry. CORE has become a family to us, and we love being a part of this church body. Ryan and I both have been spread thin the past several months, juggling our other jobs, our children, and our service at church. We've come to the difficult but prayerful decision for me to step down as the worship director at the end of August in order to make sure our family is the first priority. Please know we will continue to help with worship and sound as volunteers and will absolutely continue to be a part of this wonderful body of believers. Well, as you can imagine, that news was quite a blow to me and the other leaders at our church. We will grievously miss her wonderful leadership of our music ministry. But I do believe this was a good decision uh, by Heather and Ryan. I do believe that God led them to this decision. And so I believe firmly that God will also provide our needs according to his riches in Jesus Christ for a new music minister. Uh, it's hard to beat Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 as an executive summary of what the Christian life is like. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Well, that's what we need. And it's almost like God is sort of challenging the American church right now and saying, you say you trust me, not trust me. Now literally begin to walk again uh, by faith and learn to trust me. A recent survey of pastors across North America revealed that all of us are weary. None of us feel very fruitful and all of us are overwhelmed by the issues that we are called upon to navigate the cultural politics, the church politics. Uh, and yet, even here, the invisible hand of God, I believe, is still behind all of this. God is winnowing, sifting, purifying, and refining the church. Uh, his invisible hand is calling us to once again uh, be the church in the world, be different, be uh, the light of the world, and recover that leading edge of loving one another, and the splendid virtues of forgiveness, forbearance, and accepting of one another who, I know we all think very differently about a lot of things, but it's time for us to look more like Christ than our own little tribal group. So please join us. Uh, we're gonna need everybody on this journey ahead. Don't know where the path will lead, but we look forward to all of us linking arms and joining together. Uh, God bless you.